right. All right. So first thing I wanted to start out with is our friends over at MS Endpoint Manager last Friday um, released an Intune audit dashboard. Um, and just today I was finally getting around to um, putting this in my, configuring this in my tenant. Um, so I'm going to share this link here, uh, pretty straightforward instructions as they usually have with their community solutions um, that we've showcased a few times on the office hours here. Um, but I just wanted to pop into my tenant here and take a look and see what you actually get out of this. Um, so this solution, like, like many of the other ones, uh, requires some diagnostic information from your tenant or whatever service, in this case, Intune audit logs. Uh, being forwarded over to Log Analytics and putting together some uh, workbooks that they have graciously offered um, in the form of putting them up on GitHub for for the community to use. Um, so pretty straightforward. Configure your diagnostic logging to send to Log Analytics. Uh, copy this workbook information into your tenant. Um, with this particular workbook, I noticed there are a few things that need to be configured for your specific uh, organization to customize this a little bit. Um, but I thought we'd just take a look real quick and see what type of information pops up in here. Uh, so basically, if we look at our reports uh, in the Intune Admin Center and we go to Reports and Workbooks, here we can kind of see um, just by default shows the last 30 days of audit logs. Uh, so we see quite a bit of information here, it looks like. Uh, we can see which applications are performing admin related um, uh, events here um, or users, I guess, for example. Uh, so we've got my admin user and we have a couple of, uh, we have a couple of users that I uh, use for examples in our uh, academy courses that I know for a fact happened to enroll some devices earlier this week. Um, so we can see kind of a trend of what's happening in the tenant over the last 30 days. Looks like we can drop this down and change to a longer or shorter time span if needed. We see a few more logs there as expected if we go out to 90 days. Um, looks like some device actions. Here we can get into some specifics and see what is happening to devices. So we can see as an admin, I was in here um, sending some remote sync commands down to uh, devices, presumably doing some testing at the time. Uh, but I suspect that Yep, looks like we'll see deletes, locates, um, presumably any actions that would get audited uh, in the audit log will show up in here. Specific targets we can choose. So an app looks like some applications. Specific actions. We can actually just filter on those specific actions. That's pretty cool. Um, they great. Yeah. So a bunch of different tabs in here. Um, definitely useful. I, I like this format a little bit more than just going into the audit log and trying to filter on each specific event you want. And uh, I like the visualizations here. This is this is pretty sharp. Beats trying to hammer out the QKL query. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so as I said, I mean, we've we've showcased several of their workbooks uh, for update compliance and uh, custom inventory, BIOS inventory, things like that on our office hours. And uh, looks like yet again, they're knocking it out of the park with uh, with another community uh, community workbook here.